Okay, today in this video, I'm going to show you um, some texture things. I had a question recently about applying texture. Um, I'm also going to show you a graphic from a new collection called the Voyage Collection. Um, that's here what you see on your screen. There's an anchor. Everything is layered, so if you don't want certain elements, you can just turn them off. You can move them around. You can mix and match these elements between different designs. You can add in your own logo. You can change the text. Um, for instance, this video is about texture. So we can change the wording here. We can also change the font, change the letter spacing. Um, tutorial. So the question was, normally I tell people to apply texture to their whole graphic by in Illustrator by grouping it and then applying a opacity mask. But this question was about how to apply a texture to each layer separately. And that can help with creating color separations. So this will be a little bit more advanced. I'll show you the easy way for the less advanced way. And then I'll show you a sort of to answer the, the question I had got, gotten about applying texture to each color layer. So the textures I'm going to show are probably the most popular textures um, we offer right now called Thrift Mart. And these are actually textures made from real vintage tees. Um, and there's a lot of good variety in here. And let me show you. So in Adobe Illustrator, I like to use the bitmap TIFF textures. They're super high resolution and they don't slow your uh, computer down the way vector textures would. So we've got a lot of different texture options here. Anthem, crew neck, high voltage, uh, Jersey Tour. There's one called Mega that's just super distressed. Um, but I'll pick one. Let's see. I think Crew Neck will be a little bit more visible on your screen. So that one is right here. And I'm in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just let's just drop this in, and it'll show up as a black texture. Now we've got to size it up, but again. It's very high resolution texture, so by sizing it up to the size of a t-shirt graphic, you're not gonna really lose any detail at all. You're still gonna have plenty. Um, the other thing I wanna do here, you see how there's an X going across the texture? That means it's linked, it's not embedded. So if you're gonna send your files off to a screen printer, you're gonna wanna make sure those um, textures are embedded that way. Um, the screen printer doesn't come asking for that texture. So let's just click the embed button there. The little X disappears, which means it's embedded into this file. So let's go into our layers panel. That's window layers. And right now I've just got the texture up on this top type layer. So normally what we would do is I just moved it off to the side there so I can grab all this stuff. I would just group all the graphics and then I would bring this texture back, make sure it's on top and then just drag select everything or select all command A or control A if you're on a PC. And what we want to do here is go to window transparency and you'll see a little thing that says make mask. And if your graphic disappears like this, you wanna to toggle the clip and invert mask options till it looks correct. So that looks great. Normally that's how I tell people to do it. That's the easy way. Um, you'll see if I move this graphic off the artboard here, how that transparency is actually going through the graphics. So it doesn't matter what background color you have behind it. And that's how you're going to want to print these textures, especially on the t-shirts, because um, that'll just be t-shirt coloring, 
or t-shirt color showing through. Um, the more advanced way to do this, the customer is asking, because I think they want to set up their own color separations. So how do you apply this texture to each layer separately? So let me undo all that grouping that I had done and get it back to where everything's just in its own layer and that texture's off to the side. So what we'll do here is let's make sure we we like this we like this type and let's just do a command A and then go type create outlines that way it's no longer a font and uh, that'll be a little bit a little bit better for screen printing that way you won't have to send the font to the screen printer um, to make sure it looks right when they get it so what we'll do here is let's do our own little makeshift um, color separations this isn't really the official way to do color separations in Adobe Illustrator um, it doesn't account for things like ink trapping, that sort of thing. Most, most people don't need, need to worry about that. But let's go ahead and select our whole graphic here and then go to our Pathfinder, Window Pathfinder. And the button I always like to use is this one. That's the Merge button. So you're just going to tap that and that just pancakes everything down so there's no more layers. Um, you'll, you won't want to do that if you're going to go back and edit the graphic later. But if you're just trying to separate out, out the colors, this is a good way to do it. So we can get rid of all these extra layers we have. So now everything's just flat. So what we'll want to do is let's just select each color piece by piece. I have a shortcut for um, like a keyboard shortcut for select same fill color so it makes it easy. What we'll do here is let's use our little white arrow tool here and then do select same fill color and then cut that and then we can make a new layer and we'll uh, call that line work and then select some of these palm fronds select same fill color make sure we got it all cut it and then make a new layer and then command shift V or paste in place. And then I like to hit the unite button just to make sure that all that green stays together. I did that same thing with the line work on the previous layer. Um, so now we have this anchor color, select same fill color and we'll make a new layer and command shift paste it in and unite it again like I showed you. We'll call this um, anchor fill. Call that palm leaf layer palm. Um, what else do we have here? We have the blue in the flag. So we'll select same fill color, cut it, and paste it in, unite it. We'll call this uh, flag one and then, you know, we can just get rid of that color and let all this, all that light color just go back to t-shirt color. And then let's select some of that red, select same fill color, cut it and command shift V Unite it and then go to flag two. And then let's see, what else do we have? We have the coconut tree, um, sort of the secondary color and the fill on the flagpole. So let's select a little bit of that and then select same fill color. grabbing the wrong thing let me zoom in okay select same fill color and then cut it and then paste it into place and then we call this um, 
let's just call it color two. And let's see, do we have everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. Just double checking here. Oh wait, oh there's some like secondary uh, secondary strokes in there. So let me get that. So these are um, some strokes with no fill color applied to it. They're just kind of extra. We can just hit delete. Sometimes that happens when you merge things. It'll kind of make little cutout shapes that don't have a fill or a stroke applied to them. So make sure you delete those if you're using the Pathfinder tool. Okay, so now we have all the colors. One, two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six colors. And then this is our texture um, on the top layer. So what we're gonna wanna do is let's position this texture and you wanna apply it to each of these color layers separately. That's what this customer wanted to do. So let's make sure we have it positioned in the right place. And I think that looks good. Let's copy it. It's selected right now, we'll copy it. And then what we'll do is, we don't actually need to look at that texture layer anymore. Let's turn off the visibility of everything except for this line work. And then Command Shift V, that pastes it into place on top of the line work. So now we'll just select all that line work and the texture and then apply our opacity mask and then toggle these clip and invert masks, um, clip and invert mask options until it looks correct. Oh, there we go. And then, so we have the texture applied to our line work there, but you see when I turn these other layers on, the texture is not applied. So let's just turn on the visibility of the palm layer, and then Command Shift V to paste that texture into place, select it all, click Make Mask, toggle our options there until it looks correct. And we'll just do this for the rest of these layers. Command Shift V, paste that in place, and we'll do the last layer here. Let's select all that and go make mask and toggle our options. Now let's turn on all these layers again. And then that top texture layer, we don't need it anymore. Um, again, we can select all this, move it off the artboard, and you can see how that texture goes right through it. So there you go. That is a way to apply texture to individual layers in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.